All right, everyone. It's the Dimensionalist. I'm a Dimensionalist. Welcome back for another episode and teachings within the grand knowledge of everything. I wouldn't term it Ascended Masters, but you can be Ascended Master and accomplish these things. But today, my topic is tulpas and creation of tulpas. We create tulpas in our image, or whatever image we, we conform in our, in our mind and make a being. Um, I've created tulpas before, Fifth Dimensional Czech Republic, and dismissed them, and then summoned again in the same instant. Um, complete white screen, crystalline bodies, red and blue specks, crystal, crystals shining in white skin. Um, Tulpas are, are, are beings we're created that we can create and solidify. And they can have their own free will. A lot of people say, think they can't have their own free will. Of course they can have their own free will. But um, they're we because God created us and we're his creation. So in a sense, not that, he, that we're his tulpas, but in a sense we could be considered his tulpas. From, but, you know, since we're on the creation level and we're, we're in the physical plane... We create tulpas here also. Um, I'm going to post one day the uh, formula behind my 22 letters of Hebrew, sacred name of God, and everything else that I use to conjure up the creed. Um, fifth dimensional check, republics. Um, which I used to call chest tech. But that's a different, different story for right now. But I'll create, I'll put the formula up there and then I will show charts and diagrams and a video of the Jamatra uh, the, the, the Sefer Yesera and the creation of a, a golem which that's what they call it in um, uh, from the Hasidic Jews they use the Sefer Yesera they use the Sefer Yesera for a book of creation and how to create a golem or to create a golem which I got a book on by the way um, uh, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's amazing knowledge. Um, a lot of people, uh, separate religions and stuff, and it's just gotta be one or the other. Why not just do them all, you know? <laughs> Fuck it. You know, do as many as you can. A lot of people are like, oh, you used to be that religion? Okay, that's kind of strange. You perhaps wonder, oh, you're that religion now? Okay, I can understand that, but then when you go through, like, five religions in, like, one, like, uh, a minute or, or five, six seconds... Or how fast you can conjure or pray and, and dismiss and follow another religion. That's up to you, your consciousness, you know? So, the tool is creation, a solidified being we can create and put and pull and merge into the physical realm, bring it to the physical realm, and it can command it in our consciousness. Some people like it's imaginary. Not necessarily imaginary because solidified other people can interact with. You know, I've done it before, you know? But I was already on, on a completely risen Kundalini. I was in uh, at the point of uh, my hot samadhi leaving the physical vehicle, coming out the crown shocker and my physical body dropping and stepping to um, my etheric, etheric body, astral body, mental body, and spiritual body and step to higher planes and possibly come back to solidify another physical vehicle, slow down the body of light to the physical plane the point of proof you can sit in and still be able to have a tangible uh, quasi-physical body to inter interact and touch objects in the physical third dimension which we are in here now um yeah to 22 letters of Hebrew you know just like Kevin Chaos said Kevin Chaos said you know you know remember Hebrew ancient language don't change language up to English remember Hebrew Sanskrit um Tibetan what Tibetan is also an ancient language. I think it derives from Sanskrit. We're very similar to Sanskrit, but I think it's two different languages. Tibetan. Um, Chinese is also an ancient language. I don't know if you post Chinese or not. And Latin, you know? Um, there's another language you mentioned. I can't remember which one it was. I know Aramaic is a good language, and Arabic is a powerful religion. I mean, uh, Arabic powerful language and Islamic religion is pretty powerful. I don't really di dive deep into the uh, Arabic religion or excuse me not Arabic religion but um, Islamic 
because strangely that the Arabic from my understanding Arabic started coming out around the same time Muhammad was you know was around so that's why I call it Arabic religion but that's you know incorrect terminology but it's uh understanding and research that's near the same time and near the same time that they, he he was here you know I told a Muslim what I had to do in the Quran it says uh, Muhammad ascended he didn't die you know of course all humans and don't give people their divinity of ascending. He ascended, man. He ascended to Allah. He ascended from the dome of the rock. I was like, dude, I was like, you sure? Like, I'm like almost positive. I read it in, in the books itself. It's pamphlets. He said he didn't even know that. I'm like, okay. It's a process of ascension. But I wanted to mention how Allah and the 72 wives, or there have to be like tuples that Allah gives for when you go to heaven and, 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 the, and the 72 wife paradise and the physical body of, of Islam is what I'm trying to figure out now. Do they really get 72 wives? God come creator God. I step into, you know, the higher higher dimensions, step outside dimensions into my own conscious and create universe. You know, you're going to, you're gonna, I'm going to be, I'm going to be contained somewhere with my consciousness to watch and feel energy from in my universe. You know, you know, for my universe, energy from my universe, for myself. Um, so the 72 wives that Allah gives and the person dies and brings to higher higher planes you know they are uh, higher planes or the heaven of Allah and they get the 72 wives the 72 wives have to be tulpas you know it has to be tulpas well from Allah's, Allah's creation they are tulpas and then to you there are 72 virgins you know 72 wives and uh you're in paradise and i ask the muslims to have free will you know they're, they're always subject to you they have you know they have personalities and stuff or they just like robots and in the aspect of you know following everything you want to do you know sometimes like guys like oh, i want this girl that girl girl but it, life wouldn't be as great as it is if you got to the, you have the girl or wife you want and and earned it through the process and just instantly just given to you you know it's sort of like defeats the purpose you know like and, and then they just automatically like you they said he build up your personality and you know stuff like that so the 72 wives and creation God us were made from God's image and then we we can create here on the physical plane uh, tulpas um, so yeah there there, there are creation and I know tulpas can, you know, create an army, you know, create an army, one-man army. You use your own creation and create and project those tulpas. I'd like to create a tulpa and project like a shield around them, my like energy and just like send them to fight someone while I'm trying to fight someone at the same time, you know. But the tulpa, the difference between by location and a tulpa is a tulpa is acting on its own your conscience and projection to it part of your conscience is broken off into it and it's acting on its own but your conscience you're not seeing through the eyes of the tool at the same time that i know you, you you're just acting on their own um and by location you're in both of those places at once and you're moving in both of those places at once while you're outside your body you know like i've been mentioned in my other videos um I do know that in the level of tulpas and and, and, and re relation to bilocation is taking a character, maybe Gambit, maybe Wolverine. That's like maybe exaggeration. Even Ryu and Ken, if I, you know those characters so well in your mind, their personalities. See, they're, they're cr people's creation on paper, right? We're, we're here to learn creation. Man, guys, and we're here to create everything you see around you is creation. Everything. No matter what it is, even the words I'm coming up with have to create this video. I'm trying to give the knowledge that other people had figured out about the universe, mysticism, and stuff like that, and, and mystery schools. So I have to say that when you have a character, for instance, Ryu from Street Fighter and Ken, they both do the Shoryuken, Haruken, and you know that they're peaceful people. They're very, they're very. They're only aggressive towards the evil, negative, and you know, you know the person, how they act, what they say, you know, watching the anime and stuff, or even playing the video games and watching cut screens and stuff. 
that they are powerful beings. You know, you can project your consciousness if you can be them. Pretend, pretend. Why well, pretend? Because it's it's you. You are bringing your mind in their state of mind, even though it's a fictional character. Since we're God's creators, <laughs> you can create and project a light being projected into it. Step outside your body and be Ryu for a split second, and because you already know the creation of that character, you know you already know its emotions. You know what it reacts to. Uh, you just gotta know, like. Like, like, sort of, I guess you could relate it to schizophrenia, you know, different personalities and stuff. But the mind, the mind is a, is a powerful thing. You can, you can switch your mind state to switch to other things. If you concentrate on being this character, throwing Hadoukens and pretending, you know, people like at cosplaying and stuff, act like character because they know everything about the person. So, if you pretend to be the person, eventually you're going to project your conscious, step into the conscious of that, of that person, and mass conscious, because there's a mass conscious Earth. And that mass conscious Earth. You can bring forth your creation, yourself, your being, on the mental level, the emotional level of that character, and the physical level. As long as you can bring your physical, physical body into the same acting as the, the character itself. The Hadoukens and stuff. And then, if you needed to, just n take from mass consciousness, energy from, I guess, power lines and stuff. Which I'll reveal one day how to... How to um, use energy from power lines? Secret behind it. Um. Now, the character would you would, you could just project your conscious outward light, and you would project yourself. You would just know the, the emotions, the character, and and using um, angel names, beams of light, you can project the character outward, um, and be that character. For seconds, depending upon how on your energy level is, how much energy you have, energy you gathered, it can project and solidify your thoughts. Um, and sound. If you go Hadouken, Hadouken's power wave punch. Ha do wave and punch kin. So Hadouken. So if you can visualize chi and you push it out, Hadouken is a word of words of power, Kotodama. So you can be that person, project consciousness, project your consciousness outward and be that character for splits, splits of seconds. So if you want to separate yourself into light being, use angel names, ride the angel names in a bilocation. And as long as you bilocate and you're, you're forming that bilocation in two, two or three different places at once, or your consciousness or just two bilocation, that's the thing. You'd be in two places at once. While you're in those bodies of light, just project and know when you bilocate. That you're that character for you and Ken. So you'd be in two places at once is for you and Ken. Um or you could be Ryu and Ken in four different places. Ryu's in two different places and Ken's in two different places, and you're kind of outside your body as you, you solidify light and um project your consciousness, you know. Check out my video on lifting the veil and secrets of light. Um it'll let you know all the um things you need to do. Um of course, the multidimensional body's access to it. Necessary fasting, bringing in prana, chi, energy, and the light of God to attain the 12 strands of DNA to keep your body alive during the two weeks of fasting. It's completely necessary, you'll die. The physical body, the carbon based structure, will just deteriorate until it brings itself up into 12 strand, 24 strand DNA up to crystalline structure. And for you to project your consciousness and draw that body from a crystalline structure and then shape shift to Merkaba up into light to project consciousness to create Ryu and Ken and to throw Hadoukens at the target if you want to use it for fighting. <laughs> That's what I like using my creations for. Why not go out and have fun? So if you wake up, boom, I can do this, you know? So I'm going to end the video right there on Tulpas. I just want to touch bases on the, uh, those things. Tulpas, God creation us in a sense we're God's Tulpas, but he's not, we're just creation. We're on a level, given the ability to create tulpas. Um, about the Arabic, Arabic language, people, Islam, and being able to have 72 wives, and Allah gives those things, I suppose. Um, would they be tulpas? He'd have to create them, hand them to us, obviously. And uh, creation of characters. Great characters created by people. Pressure your consciousness. Being your person. Pretending to be that person. Project your consciousness. Thought goes. Energy goes. You're creating an energy structure and projecting your consciousness outside your body and stepping outward as a review of the video. Um, 
but definitely rewatch this video again do research look at all the concepts i've said you you'd find being amazed at the stuff the stuff yesra and stuff like that is true um i'm gonna end it right there and uh thanks for watching another video of the dimensionalists i'm a dimensionalist and i'm waiting for my buddy the other dimensionalist uh taliban which is just his nickname you know to um join the video session again whenever he comes back around we're gonna be some mega mega video sessions all right then y'all take care thanks for joining peace